What's the deepest, darkest place on Earth? It's the Mariana Trench. Today, we're diving, figuratively of course, into this abyss to uncover 10 mind-blowing mysteries that range from unknown ecosystems and mysterious deep-sea creatures to bizarre geological phenomena and even extraterrestrial connections. We'll explore the science that attempts to unravel these riddles and the many questions that still baffle us. So grab your metaphorical diving gear because we're about to descend into one of the least understood regions of our planet. The Mariana Trench is an underwater treasure trove of unique ecosystems. Imagine a world where life as we know it is flipped on its head, where bioluminescent sea creatures illuminate the perpetual darkness and the organisms have adapted to pressures a thousand times greater than at sea level. What's even more bewildering is that many of these unique organisms are known as extremophiles. These are microorganisms that thrive in extreme conditions. We're talking about bacteria that eat methane and other peculiar compounds that most life forms would consider toxic. So, what could these extreme ecosystems tell us about the limits of life? Could their study reveal life forms that have therapeutic applications or teach us about evolution in isolation? So many questions, so few deep diving submarines. The Hadal snailfish is like the superstar of extreme ocean survival. These little guys have been found at depths of up to 8,178 meters. In a world so different from ours, it might as well be alien. But how do they manage to survive such extreme conditions? Well, it's a lot to do with the way their cells function. Unlike most fish who would literally get squashed under the immense pressures of the deep, the cells of Hadal snailfish are specially adapted. Their cell membranes are fluid-like, allowing the cells to change shape but not burst under high pressure. It's similar to how cockroaches can survive being stepped on. They're flexible. But these snailfish aren't just biological marvels. They're also apex predators in their environment, dining on smaller invertebrates and microorganisms. This is important because understanding the top of a food chain can provide vital clues about the rest of the ecosystem. A study of the Hadal snailfish could give us a lens through which to examine the overall health and ecology of extreme underwater environments. If you thought the ocean floor would be this barren, desolate place, well, you'd be half right. But it's not without its own treasures. In fact, the bottom of the Mariana Trench, specifically the Challenger Deep, holds some intriguing substances. Sediments that could hold eons of Earth's history, not to mention mysterious metallic nodules. We're talking about polymetallic nodules containing precious minerals like cobalt, nickel, and rare earth elements that power our smartphones and other advanced technology. But there's a twist. These materials are not easy to harvest. The question, of course, is should we even attempt to extract them? The potential environmental impact would be enormous. It's a conundrum that pits the age-old battle of scientific discovery against ethical conservation. So why are things so big down there? We're talking about isopods the size of footballs and giant tube worms that wouldn't look out of place in a science fiction movie. This phenomenon is known as abyssal gigantism. One theory proposes that larger body size offers a biological advantage in colder temperatures and higher pressures, allowing these creatures to move more efficiently, react more quickly, and perhaps store more nutrients. But there's more. Larger size could also make these organisms more resilient to the challenges of their environment. These creatures challenge our understanding of what we know about biology, raising questions like, what are the limits of life, or how big can life forms get in other extreme environments, say, other planets? It's fascinating to think that understanding gigantism in the abyss of our Earth could potentially teach us about life beyond our Earth. The Mariana Trench, Earth's lowest point, could hide more than just unusual life forms and precious materials. It's almost like the Earth's secret diary, a place where geological processes and the records of Earth's history are concealed away from human eyes. If the Earth has a subterranean secret, this would be its safest lockbox. Plate tectonics have formed this deep sea trench, and it's possible that studying the geology of this enigmatic place could unlock secrets about the Earth's past and even its future. For instance, the trench is a subduction zone, where one tectonic plate is being pushed under another. Understanding this process could potentially offer us clues about natural disasters like earthquakes and tsunamis, perhaps even ways to predict them. We might also glean information about the Earth's mantle, as material from the mantle is closer to the surface here than at almost any other place on Earth. 
If you think about mysterious sounds, your mind may drift to the paranormal, but let's consider something truly odd, the bizarre and unexplained sounds that have been recorded in the Mariana Trench. Acoustic researchers have picked up sounds they call the bloop, train, and upsweep, among others. These are not just regular ocean noises. These are low-frequency, high-amplitude sounds that can travel hundreds of miles underwater. While some attribute them to tectonic activity or massive underwater landslides, others let their imaginations wander into the realms of unknown sea monsters or even secret underwater bases. The deep ocean is one of the quietest places on Earth, which makes these loud, unexplained noises all the more puzzling. They raise questions not only about what's down there, but also how sound behaves in an environment so different from our own. So, each mysterious sound leaves us with an acoustic riddle, one that challenges our understanding of physics, geology and biology in extreme conditions. Ah, pressure. An uninvited guest in our daily lives. But in the Mariana Trench, it's an ever-present force that not only shapes, but dictates the conditions of life itself. The pressure at the bottom of the trench is over 1,000 times greater than at sea level, reaching up to 16,000 psi. Imagine an elephant standing on a postage stamp, and you'll begin to grasp the magnitude. Yet life thrives here, in a setting that would instantaneously crush most forms of life on Earth. Scientists are fascinated by the incredible pressure tolerance of creatures like the amphipod Halicephalobus, which not only survives but thrives at these crushing depths. Understanding how these creatures manage this could have implications for everything from the design of submersibles to the study of extreme conditions on other celestial bodies. Imagine, the secret to surviving on Jupiter's moon Europa might be learned from a creature living miles below the surface of our own planet. But let's drift a bit, shall we? When we think of the deepest points on Earth, we might imagine a static, lifeless place where water is as still as the thick air of mystery that surrounds it. But this is far from the truth. The Mariana Trench experiences fascinating water movements thanks to complex systems of currents. These currents are not just regular flows of water. They are channels for heat, nutrients, and perhaps even biological life forms yet to be discovered. Why is this interesting? Because these currents can move materials from other parts of the ocean, making the trench a collection point for detritus, microorganisms, and possibly even substances like microplastics. This movement of water can answer questions about the trench's ecosystem, its role in global climate, and maybe even offer clues to how life disperses in the most extreme environments. In essence, this isn't just water movement. It's the circulatory system of Earth's deepest secrets. Now, let's take a minute to talk about something that's unexpectedly disturbing and deeply ironic. Plastic pollution. You heard that right. Even the most remote and extreme depths of our planet aren't free from human impact. In fact, a plastic bag was found at the deepest point of the Mariana Trench. A solemn reminder that our footprint has truly become global. And why does this matter? Well, first of all, it's a grim sign of the extent of marine pollution. But on a more scientific note, the resilience of plastics could provide insights into how materials degrade, or rather don't degrade, under extreme conditions. Could these plastic items become a sort of twisted time capsule, preserving the state of 21st century humanity for millennia? The sad reality of plastic pollution in such an isolated environment forces us to consider our impact on even the least accessible corners of the Earth. Okay, bear with me for a moment because we're going to shoot for the stars, quite literally. The Mariana Trench serves as an earthly proxy for otherworldly environments, like the subsurface oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa or Saturn's moon Enceladus. What can we learn from the trench that applies to these icy satellites? Well, for starters, life as we know it needs water, and there's plenty of it at both locations, and just as the trench shows us how life adapts to extreme pressure and temperature conditions, studying it can help astrobiologists predict what kinds of life could exist on other celestial bodies. Are we alone in the universe? Well, understanding the boundaries and resilience of life in our own world could provide crucial data for answering this age-old question. We've ventured into the unknown, sifted through Earth's secrets, puzzled over mysterious sounds, and even took a detour to outer space. The Mariana Trench is a veritable treasure trove of scientific mysteries, each one inviting us to rethink what we know about life, Earth, and even the universe itself. This abyss challenges us, pushes our scientific boundaries, and forces us to consider our impact on even the most remote corners of our world. 
So what's next? Only time and further exploration will reveal the full depth of the trenches' mysteries. And as always, thanks for watching.